What is up guys, DZ Fear, and today is very exciting because in today's video we're opening the brand new Should All Showdown Structure Deck. This thing is still kind of surreal to me, you know, as someone that played back in 2014 and 2015, Should Alls used to be a top tier strategy. They were quite expensive for the fusion monsters, and now here they are in a structure deck. Uh, that's really awesome. So we got some cool new cards, we got a bunch of really, really good reprints, and we have some cool alternate artworks. If you're a budget player or someone that is looking to get back into the game, once Master Rule 5 hits, this is the structure deck to buy. Um, I can't remember really the last time we had a structure deck that was this good in terms of reprints and the cards in there that aren't reprints. Uh, probably like Salaman Greats had a lot of great cards because I mean the Endymion structure deck was pretty cool but not everyone really liked that strategy but this one in particular is really really exciting and I can't wait to get my hands uh, on these cards. Uh, so yeah, let's just open this up. We won't read the, uh, the back of it too much there. Don't want to spoil too much but uh, this thing is pretty exciting. There are so many good cards in here i'm really really happy that Konami decided to make this and if you remember this was decided upon in the ocg they did a poll and i'm not sure if like every player got to vote once or something but basically they just uh, had a poll for which uh archetype players actually wanted to be a structure deck and this got first and uh, sacred beasts are right behind it which was actually the last video or i guess a couple videos ago now that we talked about these sacred beast cards hopefully we'll be getting that sometime soon as well so first we have the should all uh showdown beginner's guide not the actual rule book it has been um i don't know like literally years at this point um, since the last time the actual rule book was printed in a structure deck or a starter deck. Uh, starter decks used to always have these beginner guides but now even the structure decks do as well. Then we have our the classic you know <laughs> every time you see someone using one of these you know they have not been playing for very long or they're just trying to troll you. This is the paper mat. It's such a shame too because uh, these mats always look so cool so cool. We got the new card there. We got Winda on that side and Construct on that side. The alternate artworks and then on the back we have uh, some promotions for some packs you can buy uh, Dual Devastator is one that I highly recommend buying if you're just getting back to the game as well. Lots of good staples there too. Um, but luckily when you go to YCSs, you can play in the Structure Deck side events and actually win these mats that are real. You know, they're the actual like uh, rubber play mats, but with the same design as one on the paper. Um, also, if you are buying either like this product or Dual Devastator or anything really, make sure to use my link to tcgplayer.com in the description below. A portion of those sales go right back into the channel. So I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you have should also back in the day you won't need to buy the entire structure deck because you already have all the reprints but if you want the new cards still use that link i really appreciate it um so this deck has i don't know exactly how many we'll take a look here but it has a lot of fusion monsters which is pretty exciting so we have el shadal grista which originally was printed as a secret right now a super rare this is one of the new cards. I'm um, pretty cool there, though. We got it as a dark monster. And then we have the alternate artwork for El Shadal Construct. God, it looks so good. And that is a an ultra rare. Actually, these, this is an ultra rare, too. Is this an ultra rare? These are all ultra rares. I can't even... That's really weird. The uh, the gold lettering isn't very good on these cards. Um, but yeah, I guess we have the... These are all ultra rares. So that's pretty cool. But the Construct artwork... Oh, gosh, it's so cool. I'll probably stick to my ultimate rares from back in the day. But uh, if you have not purchased this or you want to play with like an alternate artwork, this is the way to do it. And I highly recommend um, just Konami doing more more alternate artworks. I mean, if I don't know if they're looking for feedback on that, but I think most of the people in the community really appreciate when alternate artworks get printed. Um, we have uh, the new two new should all main deck monsters, or three new three new should all main deck monsters. Let's say I'm pretty sure there's three. We have a water, a wind, and a light monster. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think previously there were no main deck monsters in the should all archetype using any of those attributes. They were all just dark monsters. So that's really neat to uh, not have to necessarily play like other engines to make the uh, more weird should all fusion monsters. I guess not weird, but but, uh, you know, the water and the wind one were kind of difficult to summon without using the trap monster. Should all core, so now they're a little bit easier. Light is cool as well, though a lot of times you want to send um, not necessarily this, but just like other really good light monsters, like uh, the Perform Mages were always a classic choice with El Shadal Construct. We also have Resh Shadal Incarnation. Pretty cool. Look at how many hollows are. <laughs> it's crazy. And El Shadal Winda as well. El Shadal Shekinaga. And El Shadal, oh, Shadal Fusion. Not El Shadal Fusion. Re regular Shadal Fusion is in the set as well as a super. This is so many hollows. Ten holographic cards. <laughs> in one structure deck. That is just insane. I will say I really appreciate the fact that they did uh, Winda and Construct as holographic cards. Um, you know, the alternate artwork is really cool, but if they were just commons, people probably wouldn't have played them. But that is a lot of hollows. Is that the most amount of holographic cards we've ever had in a structure deck? I think so. That is just absurd. Ten holographic cards. That's crazy. Pretty cool, though. Um, let's go through here and take a look at what's in the rest of the deck, though. So we have Shadal Falco, of course. Hedgehog, naturally. Squamata, cool. Dragon. Beast. Dragon still needs a holographic reprint maybe someday uh, hound 
the Shadal Zephra guy, both of them, pretty cool. And then here we get to some of the crazier reprints. There are some really good ones in here, so that's what I meant by this is like a really good budget um, deck because there's so many cool cards that used to be pretty expensive. So we have first Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Lava Golem, pretty cool. Dark Arm Dragon, newly at three copies per deck. Fairy Tale <laughs> Sleeper. Um, this card in the uh, OCG version was uh, Fairy Tale Snow. You know, obviously a much more powerful card, but uh, obviously it's banned in our format. That would have been pretty cool, though. And then we have Performing Trick, Trick Clown, like I mentioned. This is one of the cards you want to send a lot of times when you use Shadal Fusion to make uh, Construct. Armageddonite as a common looks pretty weird. This card might actually have a common reprint. I'm not entirely sure, but this is like the first time in a while I've seen it in common. Can't remember if it was in a Layer of Darkness structure deck. I don't really know at this point. Uh, Felice, pretty classic card. Um, the combo with this card is that you would send it with a Mathematician to make like a level 7 Synchro Monster a lot of time. Electromagnetic Turtle, pretty cool. There's that Mathematician to send a lot of these cards. Mathematician in particular is just really good in this deck because you can send almost all of these Shadal Monsters except Beast to the Grave. And uh, all of these ones, I mean, you can send Squamata to send the Beast directly, but Mathematician was always a classic choice for this deck. You know, you got some new cards, you got some old cards. Pretty cool stuff here. We have Curry Bandit, also pretty popular in the older Shadal builds, not so much anymore. We have Paro Paro, um, pretty cool. I. Wait, wait, is that a mist? Was this always called Cerberus? This wasn't called Cerberus? It wasn't called Paraparo Cerberus? Is that a mist? I don't know if that's a typo or if I just never knew this card wasn't called Cerberus, but that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of times you can, I mean, you can kind of see here what's going on. This is an earth for the Shekinaga, and then you have um, the uh, the water and the, the wind one for the other Shawl uh, fusion monsters that we'll see in a second. I believe those are commons. So you can see that you have uh, pretty much all the attributes in your deck now that you can uh, make these Shadal extra deck monsters without, without actually using the core. Uh, we have the Field Spell Curse of the Shadal Prison. Haven't seen that being played. El Shadal Fusion Common. Looks pretty trippy. Uh, Shadal Fusion, the Equip Spell version. Super Polymerization. Um, so this card has been reprinted uh, pretty recently in Dual Devastator. I guess not super recently, but fairly recently. But it is still pretty expensive, like over $5 a copy. So if you're like a super budget player, that might not be uh, super viable for you. But now it's in this as a common. And obviously it's really good in this deck because you have one um, Fusion Monster for every single attribute in the game except Divine Beast. So you can always uh, super probably for something if your opponent has one monster and that's i think right now it's like one of the bigger uh appeals of actually playing shadals is a uh, super poly and now remember that super poly originally went got limited and then banned because of shadals so now it's back at three copies we can play it once again um and then we have instant fusion a lore of darkness fantastic card foolish barrel god these reprints are so good living fossil first reprint for uh, this card as well this card was only a uh battles of legend secret i believe Pot of Avarice. Now it's back at uh, one copy. Maybe it'll go to three copies eventually. Probably, because it doesn't seem like many people are playing it. Twin Twisters, always a welcome reprint. Obviously, it has multiple reprints, but kind of like Super Poly, they're like all over $5 still. Um, I think the common from a Dino Smasher Fury is like the only one that's less than $5, but it's cool just to have this card because if you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2020, you probably want to own at least uh, one or two copies of Twin Twisters. Really good card. Shadal Core, uh, the card that I mentioned a lot of times because uh, it changes its attribute when you summon it, so you can actually make any of the Shadal Fusions without using, without necessarily playing like a, an actual water monster, an actual uh, light monster, or whatever. Sinister Shadow Games. Uh, Puri Shadal Aeon, I think it's a new card. Lost Win, one of my favorite trap cards, gets uh, double use, so it's pretty cool. On any Nightmare, Necro Fusion, Subterra Succession, pretty funny card. And uh, we got more extra deck cards. Look at how many extra deck cards are. I think every single Shadal Fusion is in this deck. So you have El Shadal Wendigo. El Shadal Anoyatilis, Shadal Const... Oh, that's in there. The actual Link monster. Holy crap, this deck is crazy. Um, so yeah, you have every single Shadal extra deck monster, I believe, which is like kind of unreal almost. This deck has a lot of cards in it. Um, so you guys can see all of those right there. This is pretty cool as well, just because this really means that when you buy this deck, I mean, just looking through it, it seems like you would have every single card that you would need to make just like a basic Shadal deck. Um, it reminds me a lot of like uh, Monarchs and Sail Mangrates, where you can just buy like three of a structure deck. I actually have a pretty competent strategy not to mention there's always like really cool staples in here as well that make it a lot easier um but yeah this deck's crazy like I, I actually didn't realize how many holographic cards it had so i'm really excited to see that the alternate artworks are really cool the reprints are really great i think it's going to be super great for budget players like i said if you guys want to purchase this if you haven't already because you i'm sure a lot of people already have but if you haven't already and you want to purchase any of the cards um, from this structure deck or just the structure deck itself if you don't have any of the cards you have maybe played in a couple years uh, make sure to use that link in the description below to tcgplayer.com and and a portion of those sales go right back into the channel. Anyway, though, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of this uh, opening the Shadal Structure Deck. I'm pretty excited for it, and I hope you guys are as well. I'll catch you next one, though. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.